Welcome to our lecture online. The main difference between what we see in this video and the previous one is that we placed a negative sign in, in front of the parentheses. So what does that negative sign do? It simply takes the parabola that normally would open upward and makes it open downward. Just like when we put a negative in front of the A or when A is negative, we have a downward opening parabola instead of an upward opening parabola. So everything is still the same. We still have H and K. In this case, we have plus h, which means that the parabola moves to the left a distance h. And in here, we have a minus h, which means the parabola moves to the right a distance h. Here we have a plus k, which means the parabola moves upward a distance k. And here we have minus k, which means the parabola opens downward a distance k. And then, of course, if we have a constant other than 1 in front of the parentheses, like minus 1 third, it causes the parabola to widen and in this case where we have y equals negative 3 times x minus h squared that makes the parabola uh, uh, become skinnier less wide and because in this case the value for y grows faster in a downward direction a negative direction here the value for y glow grows more slowly and that's why the parabola opens wider so again minus h means the problem moves to the right plus k it means it moves up plus h, it means that the problem moves to the left, minus k means the problem opens down, or moves down, a minus in front means the problem opens downward, a one-third means that the problem is wider, a three means the problem is skinnier. Of course, it doesn't need to be one-third or three, it could be one-half and two, or one-fourth and four, and so forth, but the idea is that the bigger the number, the skinnier the problem, the smaller the number, the, the lesser, the smaller the fraction is, the wider the parabola becomes. And so again, this is the general way in which we graph parabolas when we have an equation in this general format with a negative in front instead of a positive. Remember, a positive means it opens upward, negative means it opens downward. And that is how it's done. So can we just use the general form y equals ax squared plus bx plus c? Well, there's different ways of graphing. So obviously when you have that form of the equation, the rules of graphing are a little bit different. When the equation is in this form, the rules is a little bit different. It's actually easier when it's in this form because then you can clearly see that you move it up or down, left or right, and it opens upward or downward simply by looking at the equation and just graphing it. So it's actually easier in this form, it's a little bit more difficult when it's in the general form y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. But that comes later again. We'll show everybody how to do how to do the graphing of the parabola in those cases as well. You just did the ax squared plus bx plus c. No, not yet. Not yet. We haven't done that yet. Before, you have the ax squared. ax squared minus ax squared plus c minus c, but not yet with the value of b other than zero. So I haven't done it yet. There's just so many different things to memorize. There's different rules, but again, what I'm trying to show is that it's, it's almost self-explanatory once you see the pattern. So. Yeah, but then there's so many different patterns. It seems overwhelming at first, but quickly you see start seeing the connection. It's still overwhelming. <laughs> <laughs> That's why. We will even show that as well. <laughs> <laughs>